Good, beautiful Tuesday morning. All my inspirational tea sip this is Shantara. Welcome back to my channel. I pray that you are well, doing amazing, feeling amazing. Hold on, hope and faith, you guys. Update. I will update you when we get in the car. But for right now, I want to know if the onion water is going to work. If this is what a mom looks like. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Who's up with a baby who has head foot mouth disease on his birthday? Let's see what's going on this morning. Y'all, it's all bad in here. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to I poet and no chicha poch. Hi, check it for his mama. Oh, y'all, don't they look like twins? Look, Deanna, <laughs> she died. They died. Everybody can see it's his birthday. Say, I'm one today. Say, I'm one today. He's one, guys. He got a big boy haircut. And he's chic. He's chic. I love you. Back to us. So here we are. I put like half of an onion and some fresh spring water. And I'm going to drink this and see if it helps. You know, I had to put it in a wine glass because I was told it'd be wine here. But yeah, we will see. I'm so desperate. Yuck. I'm gonna have some lemon too. Are you the birthday boy? Huh? Are you still confused about it being your birthday? Happy birthday. Can you say hi to everybody? Say hi. Dinka. Say hi. Dinka. Say hi. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Good morning. All my inspirational tea sippers. Happy Tuesday, you guys. It's what, November the 15th? We already midway in November. I pray that you are well, doing amazing, feeling amazing, holding on to hope and faith, you guys. I'm on my way to, <laughs> you guessed it. I'm on my way to work, but I haven't been. This car makes, it's frozen, it's so cold outside. Ugh. But yeah, so much is happening. Okay, it's Tuesday, so I hadn't been to work since Friday. I had gotten sick, you guys. My throat, I could barely swallow. My ear was hurting so bad, I literally thought I was getting ready to meet my maker. <laughs> I got up at 3 o'clock in the morning and checked myself into the hospital like uh, I couldn't I couldn't even talk the pain was so bad the pain was so freaking bad the man was like let me start you on antibiotics let me start you give me get you some pain medicine get you comfortable like the pain was that bad that he had to uh, ooh, gave me something good but I was in so much pain and so okay so y'all know I picked up Teriana and then me friday teriana got picked up on wednesday then me on friday i already had a head cold but it's starting to get like worse you know like okay it looked like it's going away then i yawned a few nights ago and i heard my ears popping and it felt like it feels like i'm underwater so if i'm talking loud that's the reason why i can barely hear out of my ears and so i'm like okay and so i get up the pain is so bad like, I'm literally 
like please help me please help me and the man was like it's so thick and it's so infected you know what i'm saying like thank god you came right now because it looks like it's about to burst and i'm just like okay so i do that we start the medication we start the pain they give me something right then they put me on steroids right then and there they give me the pain medicine to like help me out just to like deal and so sunday saturday terry i didn't have little bumps on her hand you know what i'm saying and i'm like okay you probably broke out into something you know what i'm saying she's a science kid so she always in something always doing something mixing it's so annoying you know what i'm saying but that's just who she she's always been she's always coming up with some type of concoction of some scientific sort and not only that she doesn't really clean up or pick up her mess so you can imagine the things we go through and the conversations that are had after the mess but she got these bumps and so like if you see your kid with like little red bumps in their hand what you gonna automatically think okay you broke out you got into something let me get you some benadryl so get you some benadryl okay she's saying it's itching but it's coming with pain now so i'm like okay let me go get you some hydrocortisone cream put the cream on there for the itching and i gave her some um uh, ibuprofen to ibuprofen for the pain so i'm like okay we're gonna see where we at so i'm kind of like watching it and yeah this is saturday saturday night i came out the emergency room saturday morning by that evening i was back in there saturday morning i was back in there on sunday with teriana the next day and um And so I'm like, okay, so I'm watching, so I'm like, okay. So she said, it's not getting better. And I'm looking at the bumps in between her fingers and hands, they like red and they kind of like raise and inflamed. I'm like, okay. And she was like, yeah, but it's, it's got pain in it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, what? And so I end up taking her home, long story short. You can tell I missed y'all. Long story short, I end up taking her to the emergency room. And he was like, and I thought it was head, foot, mouth, but I was like, okay, could, but it could be something else. But I wasn't quite sure because it was only like on her hands, right? And so I'm like, it looked like it could be head, foot, mouth. I said it. I thought it to myself, but I didn't say that out loud. So he was like, this is what it looks like. You know, and I told him she had just gotten sick. She vomited on Wednesday. She had a fever. And then come Friday, the bumps came. So after the virus is going through her body, then the bumps come, right? And so she has head, foot, mouth. And the guy asked me, is there any more kids in the house? He said, because it spreads like wildfire. And I'm like, oh my goodness, the grandbaby is at the house. But y'all, by this time, I'm just like feeling defeated, but not <laughs> really. But kind of like, I'm tired, you know? I said, the grandbaby's here. And I said, I have a five-year-old. And he was like, you know, just keep clean, hand washing or whatever. And then by the time we sat down, we went back for her test results and stuff. By the time we sat back down, Deanna sent me pictures of what the baby was looking like. Like bumps all over his nose and mouth and lips. And I, if you feel the feeling that I felt when she sent me that picture. And then TJ got it right here on both sides of his face. Because he always kissed the baby right there. They kiss each other right there. He said, most likely adults don't have to worry about it because our immune system is already built up. Now, me and Deanna was doing research. Adults can get it. Adults have experienced it. There's nothing you can do. It's a virus that has to run its course. You get it from freaking not hand washing. Ugh, particles from people coughing. So I'm wearing my mask. I'm back to wearing my mask in the grocery store and all that stuff. Like, you brought that home. And it's very, very common in daycare centers and schools because you know kids aren't that clean to keep their hand washed like that. So it's found in feces particles that you might pick up like on doorknobs and door handles and door switches and coughing particles. She got sick at school. You brought it home and you brought it to everybody else. So I'm like, you need to wear your mask. I'm telling her, you need to wear your mask at school and make sure you sanitize your hands and stuff if it's not, you know, like gotta do better with you know hand washing i know for sure every time she washes after she come out the bathroom but i'm like just even throughout the day need to be washing you know what i'm saying 
like washing your freaking hands these kids at school whoa she brought it home from school so once she got it home from school everybody else got sick so and then today's the baby's birthday it's november the 15th on a tuesday and he got hand foot mouth disease so i'm moving kind of slow it's already 8 16 i'm gonna be late to work today i already knew that i would be because I'm, I'm just not feeling well. I can't hear out of my ears. My balance is off, you know what I'm saying? And I just drunk that onion water and I'm gonna drink another one tonight and see how it goes. But other than that, like I'm trying to get better. I was able to rest yesterday, all yesterday pretty much, just dealing with TJ. Besides having to deal with TJ, I rested all day yesterday, I can honestly say. But man, I don't feel well. So we're doing the best we can. That's where we that's where we're at on a Tuesday, y'all. I recorded on a last recorded on a Friday morning. I'll upload that video. I'm talking about with the holidays and stuff coming up and family and all that. Making sure we good. But other than that. That's all I had to say this morning. How are you guys? I'm busty. Your girl been out there. I'm like, half a mouth disease. Tired. He was like, don't worry. The Lord won't breathe. And you know, honestly, when he was telling me that stuff, I felt I was crying. Because mind you, I'm sick. My head, eardrum busted. My eardrum's busted. And it's going to take a few weeks for it to heal. And pray to God I can hear again because I can't hear. I can hear, but I can't fully hear. I'm just like, you know what? And he was like, the Lord would never bring you to anything if you didn't think you were strong enough to get through it. And he's never going to do anything more than what you can handle. And I'm thinking in that moment, I'm like, shut the hell up. Like in that moment, you don't want to hear that. Of course, your spirit needed, which is why people say it, but your flesh don't want to hear none of it. <laughs> none of it. Can we be honest? Don't you hate like when you're feeling at your most pissed off passivity and somebody trying to speak words of wisdom and encouragement? <laughs> they want to hear that right now. Don't nobody want to hear that right now. Let me be mad and upset. I'm speaking for myself. Let me be pissed off, mad, and upset. I don't want to hear none of that. But your spirit needs it, so they're going to speak it into you. And you'll get it after a while. But in that moment, baby, ha, I don't want to hear nothing. We got to sign off. So until the next two, inspire, be inspired. I love you guys. God bless you. Good day.